top 10 best ways to spend your $1,200 stimulus check according to financial advisors during the crisis here. Among the main consequences of the recent outbreak has caused a lot of people to panic and it caused the US to mostly stop the workforce from actually working and doing everything they usually like to do. Which besides having a very negative effect and consequences for this economy, also has left thousands of families without jobs and opportunities to generate cash in order to provide for their families when they need it the most. With so many people left without any way to buy supplies until this is over, which can be a long time, uh, they're speculating, the Senate approved a trillion dollar stimulus package that will send all Americans $75,000. Joking. Anybody earning less than $75,000, a $1,200 check uh, within a matter of weeks. The White House is expected to vote on the bill by the end of the week. By the time this video is out, more than likely they'll already have, have it completed, so I wouldn't worry about too much. But this is a 96 against zero Senate vote suggest, and it should have no partisan hangups. While it may be a wise thing to spend it all on food and other necessities such as water, there are wiser ways rationing your expenses in order to best utilize the check for your needs. Today, we will talk about the 10 best ways to spend your $1,200 stimulus check according to financial advisors. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn the notification bell on and smash the like button. Just, just smash it right there. All right. Hopefully you like the rest of the content and here we go. Number one, paying your bills. Of course, the main reason for the check is to create out of work people to efficiently pay their bills and have things to do. The stimulus check is also meant to do other things besides stimulus, like stimulate the economy, but hence the name, the stimulus package. The first thing comes to mind is to get ahead of your bills and directly divide it between everything that's currently coming in for the next couple months, which could be the most affected thing current, during the current lockdown. Make sure your mortgage and rent paid, groceries, gasoline, other utilities are taken care of. After that, the virus is expected to subside, hopefully within so often, and we should be able to get back to our old jobs and bring back in cash flow. Number two, paying off debt. Some countries of the world have their banks shutting down interest charges and debt also allow them as to allow those left without work to be able to eventually pay back and get up to date without actually ripping apart their credit score. However, it's not the case for every bank and credit card company. If you can comfortably pay back your bills at the first level basic basics to live, then the second best thing would be to do is to check back and pay back your debt, starting with the highest interest rate, likely credit cards first, uh, there's usually the highest ones, and uh, go from there. Number three, replenish your emergency fund. Not every single American was left without a job or left without pay. Some are still working from home and of course, getting a juicy paycheck that they can use to solve their financial problems while the country is on lockdown. However, there are also those who are not working from home and are not getting paid by surviving and are not getting paid, but surviving thanks to their previously thought of emergency fund. An emergency fund generally has enough to cover all your expenses for three to six months. So most have began using them up and they're going to need to refill their emergency fund which is where the stimulus check can come in. If you're using your emergency fund reserves, you can recharge them with this check. Number four, meet your employer's retirement matching limit. Now you might notice all of your recommendations are arranged in the first need to second need order. If you have all supplies 
to weather out the pandemic and all the consequences and no remaining debt and your sizable extra is safe for your rainy day fund then maxing out the retirement according to your matching if your employer is doing it percentage for your annual retirement contributions can be put up to this limit um, that it would be one of the fourth best ways to use a check number five invest in stock market since there is a global pandemic going on right now that causes severe consequences to the world economy it's hard to think about buying stocks as a good idea but however during the previous economic crisis those stocks end up making great investments in the future by considering buying a dividend or diversified index funds such as a SPDR, S&P 500, ETF, Trust, uh, the NYSC, SPY, and take advantage of the long-term gains of the SP 500 index, you could make some sizable advances in your stock market portfolio once the market does its rebound. Number six, save for college. If you have all your basic needs covered, you could also consider opening a contribution to a 529 plan for your child if you have any. These plans allow your $1,200 to grow on a tax deferred basis and distributions to qualify for college related expenses are completely tax free. Number seven, learn a new skill. The $1,200 stimulus check can be just an economic boost you need to develop a new skill. If you have extra time while learning online courses or perhaps always wanting to enroll in one just for fun, spending the check here can help you do just that. Learning a new skill can even open up your economic or your world to a new job later on the line once the lockdown is over. Number eight, kickstart a side hustle. Maybe you've always had a side hustle idea on your mind, such as freelance business that requires some initial cash to cover the basic costs of your crafts. Now that you have an online course, extra time and cash to cover it, you might think of kickstarting this from home and it could also boost your home economic uh, job while you're here. Uh, give you some extra stuff to work on and especially since you're locked down give you something to do so you don't go stir crazy number nine teach someone to invest investing especially can be difficult starting out should be left for someone that doesn't really care if you lose completely because honestly just starting out investing you, you might want you might lose using some of the stimulus check is a good way to test trading for an account put it uh, put in your name put in a child's name um and just start trading see how it works um because most likely it will usually pay out but you might have some issues at the beginning and number 10 improve your home you might get a higher return on your interest rate on your house by improving it you can replace old faucets lighting doors electric outlets to improve it without having to take a loan, that's a smart way to invest the $1,200 and opening the opportunity to get it back. This was your 10 best ways to spend your $1,200 stimulus check. We thank you for watching the video and hope you enjoy the ideas provided.